Hello, I'm Jacob Dawson, and I am recording a DIY mini lecture on Threats 2 Internal Validity. So, there are many threats to internal validity, and I have just chosen one to talk about, and mine is the manipulation threat to internal validity. Now, first and foremost, I should describe what internal validity means. It is the extent to which a piece of evidence supports a claim about cause and effect within the context of a particular study. It is one of the most important properties of scientific studies and is an important concept in reasoning about evidence and more generally. Now, for manipulation, to, as a threat to internal validity, it includes unintended differences between the participants in the experimental conditions, participant attrition and fatigue over the course of the experiment, environmental and experimenter effects that undermine the manipulation measures that are not valid or reliable, and participant awareness. Uh, of deceptive elements of the study or that they are being studied. Uh, I collected this bit of information from ncbi.nlm.nih.gov. Furthermore, on manipulation in accordance to uh, internal validity, Manipulating an experimental design can alter or reduce many threats to internal validity. Uh, and one of them is experimental manipulation. This is when the researcher manipulates an independent variable in research. The researcher applies an intervention for the treatment group during the research period. I've collected this bit of information from formpl.us. So, to conclude this, um, manipulation is a form of threat to internal validity. It can ruin or flaw a study purely through uh, use of manipulation. And thank you.